Today we're going to be doing a ranking of all of my Odin's Eye palettes and if that sounds like something you're interested in, make sure you stick around and let's get going. Hey everybody and welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Sheena and makeup is like therapy for me. Today we're going to be ranking all of my Odin's Eye palettes and I have eight of them. I'm preparing to move from a 3,000 square foot home into a 400 square foot motor home. So I'm going through and decluttering everything my whole life. <laughs> but we're going to start with number eight and that is Norin's. And this palette is a struggle with what to do with it. And I think if I just spent a little bit more time using it, I probably would like it more. But it's also a little older and it's a little more dry formula than some of my newer Odin's Eye palettes are. So that's one reason too why I'll rank it a little bit lower. Coming in at number seven is, hopefully I can say this right, Alva 2. Oh, I got it backwards. And this is, I really like this palette. I just don't use it that much. And I'm not really sure why. I need to pull it out and spend more time using it and I mean I really love this color story it is really pretty but it is also a little bit more dry like my Norns palette so that could also be another reason why I don't reach for this palette as often now palettes on up one through six have the same formula so this is really just ranking them on based on color story and I love all of these color stories, but I had to put them in order, in some order. So this one is Planet Spirit, and I do enjoy this palette, but I always seem to grab something else or go for a monochromatic eyeshadow look. But I really, I mean, these colors are so pretty, and I need to grab this some more and play with it. Okay, next is, and also all of these palettes are collabs, but I'm not going to say the collab, who they're collabed with. Can you hear that? I hope you can't hear it, because I didn't think this through. My husband's cutting grass, so I'm really sorry if you can hear it, but hopefully in just a minute, he'll be farther away from the house, and it won't be very loud. Okay, number four five is the red dragon palette and i do really like this palette but it's not my like ideal color story it's a little <laughs> people are gonna think i'm crazy it's a little neutral leaning for me um i do really enjoy this color story but like i really wish these browns up here were like more like of a dark green or something like that so that's one reason why I don't reach for this palette as often, but it is still a super pretty palette and it's not going to be leaving my collection. I'm not sure if any of these palettes are going to be leaving my collection. Okay, number four is the Flora Story. Ow, Stella, stop. No, no. Sorry, my dog wants in my lap and I can't pick her up right now. This is the Flora Story, and I do really enjoy this palette. I do love the colors that are in it. I just don't use it as much as I wish I did, so that's one reason why it's ranking a little bit lower than some of the other ones. Coming in at number three is the Hella palette. I love this color story. It is so, so pretty. And the only reason why it ranked a little bit lower is because green is not my ideal color. I mean, I know it looks really good on me because I have hazel eyes. Green is just not my ideal color. So I wish it had a little bit less green in it. Coming in at number two is the Sea Talk palette. And this palette, it's I've used it so, so much. I absolutely love this palette. And I love matching and pairing this palette with some of my other Odin's Eye palettes because I don't always use the browns, but I, this is my next to top most used Odin's Eye palette, which is why I ranked it in number two. Okay, and then in Number one, which is my most used Odin's Eye palette, that is the Hummingbird palette, 
and I love these colors and they're so bright and vibrant I mean like this purple it's a little it's so pretty and this color right here I mean they're just so so pretty I could go on about this palette all day long and I mean I just absolutely love the colors in this palette. Whenever I reach for an Odin's Eye palette, this is the palette that I always reach for, which is why I ranked it in the number one place. It is my absolute favorite Odin's Eye palette. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button and hit the little bell beside it so you don't miss any of my future uploads. And I'll see you next time. Bye guys.